Hello everyone, for today's video, I'm gonna be doing like a skincare girl makeup. Um, I've been seeing a lot of posts on Instagram of skincare ads and the models have such clean and glowy skin and their makeup looks super super natural and just perfect. So I'm gonna try to achieve that today. Let's get started. All right, so first I'm gonna obviously prep my skin. I'm gonna use these pads by Skin Food. This is the Carrot Keratin Calming Water Pad. I'm just gonna apply this all over. I really like this pad. It's drenched in really good essence. It hydrates my skin very well. It's very gentle. And the pads are pretty thick. It's thick enough for me to split it in half and apply it to my cheeks like this. Like the pad it in there, like that. And I just kind of let it sit and chill. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Carrot Keratine Moist Effector by Skin Food. I need all the moisture right now for this makeup. Take two pumps and just I'm gonna press it into my skin. And for my moisturizer, I'm gonna take Then I Met You Renewing Rich Beauty Cream. This cream is amazing. It is so creamy, so luxurious, and it just like hydrates my skin so well. I love it. This cream is perfect for anyone with dry skin because it, it feels like whipped butter but once you apply it's not heavy like butter it's just so moisturizing already my skin just looks so glowy and healthy mm. and then of course you can't forget the sunscreen i'm using the round lab i think this is called in english and it's called birch snap Sunscreen? Um, I don't know, but I'm gonna use the one by Round Lab. I think it's called like Birch, Birch something sunscreen. I like this sunscreen as well. The sunscreen is very lightweight and doesn't leave a white cast. It's hydrating. It doesn't feel greasy. It lays really nicely under makeup. It doesn't separate my makeup or anything like that. It also spreads very nicely and blends in. Like you know how some sunscreens, like you really have to work the product into your skin. But with this one, like it just absorbs and blends in quickly and easily. So I really like this product. I achieved the finish that I was looking for with my skincare routine. It doesn't look too greasy. It just looks like glass skin i don't even want to say it's glowy it's kind of like glistening kind of like i have like saran wrap on my skin or something that's kind of the look i was looking for but to kind of cover the redness around my nose darkness around my eyes and to even out my skin tone i am going to be going with a cushion foundation i'm going to be using the one by espore this is the pro taylor b glow cushion and i'm just gonna lightly apply it on the areas that's needed this cushion foundation is very very glowy so i really love using this when i want to achieve that healthy glow look so let's start down here first cover the nose area and I'm gonna go underneath the eye. And then just a little on the forehead. So like this, it is still a very, very glowy and healthy, but now my skin tone is more even. I am going to lightly, very, very lightly contour my face because like my face looks flat when I'm just wearing foundation. Um, so I'm just gonna go with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Soft Amber. And I'm not gonna do much, I think. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm gonna do much. I'm just gonna do a little here like that on the sides. And then I'm gonna do a lot on my jawline. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna take a brush and then blend this out. I just want to give a little dimension around my nose so I'm gonna take a smaller brush and grab a little product like this and then very lightly contour my nose and the sockets of my eyes just like this gives a little dimension, not a lot, but just to show that I have a nose and it's not flat. Let's move on to the brows. In the photos, the brows are very, very natural. So I already have like a really bushy eyebrow. So I'm just gonna take my brow pencil and lightly shade in just the end where it's a little sparse. And same thing for this side. Going super, super, super natural. Just again brushing it. I am going to apply eyeshadow, but I'm only applying one shade. The shade that I'm gonna apply is just like a very light neutral color. So I'm just gonna apply this all over. Just to give like color and dimension to the eyes. Just to give something for my eyes. I'm gonna take a little bit and apply it on the lower lash line. Again, same thing to give color, a little dimension. Cause they do have like eyeshadow, but nothing like harsh. And now to finish the eyes, I'm just gonna curl my lashes and I'm not gonna apply mascara because they don't really use mascaras. If you have like a clear gel mascara, I think there is one out there. Um, you could definitely use that. I don't have that. I wish I had it. I think if I did, it would be perfect for this look. But unfortunately, I don't have it. So I'm just gonna curl my lashes um, and not apply mascara, okay? There we go. Eyes are pretty much done. Let's move back to the face. I'm gonna add a little bit of color. I'm gonna go in with this blush stick by M Cosmetic in Baby. This is so soft, um, so soft blush stick in Baby. I really love this color. This color is just so pretty. I might apply a little more than I should, but it's just such a pretty color. Like. Pretty. Gonna take a brush and then blend it. I'm gonna take my finger. Let's not use a brush. I'm gonna take my finger and just tap it into my skin. I applied it pretty high because I want that like lift effect. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little more on the cheeks. And I like to put just like a little bit on my nose. I think that's like really cute. <laughs> and then finally for my lips, I'm gonna use just a lip balm. This is Then I Met You Honeydew Lip Mask. This lip mask is just so pretty. I know it's just a lip mask, but it's not just a lip mask. Like, so I don't have anything on my lips right now, right? I don't have any color or anything. And this lip mask just makes my lips so juicy. Ooh, so glossy, so juicy. I love it. I mean, obviously you could put like a little bit of color onto your lip, like, let me put this one. This is the Etude Fixing Tint in Soft Walnut. I'm gonna just put it a little bit like that. I mean, like you could add a little color, but this lip mask just makes my lip so glossy, so juicy. I love it. And it like really hydrates my lips as well, so. But here is the final look. Maybe I should have kept my hair up. All right, so this is my final look of the skincare girl makeup. My skin looks glowy, it looks healthy. I love this look. I think I'm gonna be wearing this for the springtime. All right, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Comment below your favorite place to travel in the summertime. Like this video and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye, bye.